Hey YouTube, and welcome back to Groove Builders. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're gonna be building and painting one of my favorite cartoon characters of all time, Mickey Mouse. And it's from the same guys over at Incredibles that built the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade we did not too long ago. Will it be as easy, or will there be a few goofy little tricks hidden in there? Groove Builders, let's get down to the workbench and take a look at the package. All right, Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our Mickey Mouse in some pretty awesome Incredibuilds packaging. Looking near the bottom, we can see it's only a two out of four star rating, so I'm not really expecting this to be too difficult. The second thing I'm noticing is that's quite thick, and the reason for this is not just a build, it's also a really cool book detailing the history of Mickey Mouse. I'll show you that right now. Pretty neat, right? So not only do we have a build, but we also have a really cool book. It's pretty awesome from the guys over in Incredibills. Let's go ahead and open up the building portion and then we'll take a look at our book. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just take off this little tab here, just like that. Awesome, oh wow, here we go. Oh look, it's our little friend R2-D2 there, pretty neat. I like the little pieces of art they have along the bottom here and all the different paint jobs they have. That looks really cool. All right, so we have our instructions and we also have our wood. And Mickey Mouse actually looks a little bit smaller than I was originally anticipating, but that's okay. With our wood all out of its packaging and our directions right next door, I think it's a good time to let you group builders know that we're gonna go ahead and paint this wood before we build it. But to get a good idea on how this should actually be painted, we're gonna have to take a look inside of this book. But looking at the book that they included with Mickey Mouse, we are once again treated to a really awesome depiction of our character that we're building. I mean, look at all this information on Mickey Mouse. They literally start at the beginning of when Mickey Mouse was created all the way down to current day. And the amount of illustrations and information in this book is really, really well done. Now it's really cool, like you just saw there, at the very back of the book, you get some instructions on how to paint this figure. This diagram over here is really important because it mirrors our wooden sheet. When we go to paint our Mickey, we're gonna use this diagram to figure out what colors go where. All right, group builders, with our build in mind, let's go ahead and get started. All right, Groove Builders, first things first, we're going to go ahead and paint our wood sheet. I know that last time we built an Incredibuild model, we didn't paint it right away. The main reason being, I kind of like the hidden blade the way it was without paint on it. A little later on, I did end up giving in though and painting it with some paint markers. It worked out pretty good and gave it a nice texture, but with my friend Mickey here, paint markers simply aren't gonna do. Before I go any further, I just want to say that I'm new to painting and by no means an expert. For this build, I am using Tester's Paint. This paint is pretty good for what we're doing and it can be found in most hobby shops. If you're following along at home, the colors I'm using for this build are GI Yellow, GI Black, GI Cream, GI White, and Stoplight Red. When it comes to paint brushes, I'm using a variety and the reason for that is I'm using one paint brush per color. Now, you don't necessarily have to do that at home. You really only need one big brush for all the big detail, and then one detail brush for all the smaller stuff around the face. The Tester's Paintbrush set is really good for this model if you want to get a good starter set of brushes. Don't forget to paint both sides of your wood. That's something that's very easy to forget when you complete one side. Now, there is one thing you need to know before you build this model after painting it. It's going to be a lot harder to get these pieces together. Go easy on this thin wood. If you break a piece, it's broken. Take your time here, Groovers. Mickey Mouse has been one of my favorite animated characters for about as long as I can remember. And with such a long history, I'm sure some of you feel the same way. But like any good character, Mickey has a very interesting story. Believe it or not, Mickey Mouse didn't start as a mouse. He was created as a replacement for Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, a cartoon character created by the Disney studio for Charles Mintz, a film producer who distributed production through Universal Studios. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, the famed Disney rival. In the spring of 1928, with the series going strong, Disney asked Mintz for an increase in the budget. 
Mintz instead demanded that Walt take a 20% budget cut, and as leverage, he reminded Disney that Universal owned the character Oswald the Rabbit. Then, Mintz revealed that he had already signed most of Disney's current employees to the new contract. Disney refused the deal outright and returned to the production of the final Oswald cartoons he contractually owed Mintz. Disney was very hurt by the betrayal of his staff, but he became determined to restart from scratch. The new Disney studio initially consisted of the animator UB Iwerks and a loyal apprentice artist, Les Clark, who together with Wilford Jackson were among the few who remained loyal to Walt. One lesson Disney learned from this experience was to always make sure you own all the rights to the characters produced by your company. In the spring of 1928, Disney asked UB Iwerks to start drawing up new characters character ideas. Iwerks tried sketches of various animals such as dogs and cats, but none of these appealed to Disney. A female cow and male horse were also rejected. They would later turn up as Clarabelle Cow and Horace Horse Collar. A male frog was also rejected. It would later show up in Iwerks' own Flip the Frog series. Walt Disney got the inspiration for Mickey from a tame mouse on his desk at Laughagram Studios in Kansas City, Missouri. In 1925, Hugh Harmon drew some sketches of mice around the photograph of Walt Disney. These inspired UB Iwerks to create a new mouse character for Disney. Mortimer Mouse had been Disney's original name for this character before his wife Lillian convinced him to change it. And ultimately, Mickey Mouse came to be. Mickey first appeared in the short Plane Crazy, debuting publicly in the short film Steamboat Willie in 1928, one of the first sound cartoons. Mickey appeared primarily in short films, but he can also occasionally be featured in full-length films. Ten of Mickey's cartoons were nominated for the Academy Awards for Best Animated Short. Beginning in the 1930s, Mickey has also been featured extensively as a cartoon strip character. His self-titled new strip ran for over 45 years. Mickey has also appeared in comic books and in television series such as Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. He also appears in a lot of other mediums, such as video games, merchandising, and my personal favorite, a meetable character at the Disney parks. Mickey generally appears alongside his girlfriend Minnie Mouse, his pet dog Pluto, and his friends Donald Duck and Goofy. He even has a nemesis, Pete, along some other ones in different series. Originally characterized as a mischievous anti-hero, Mickey was rebranded over time as an everyman, usually seen as a flawed but adventurous hero. In 2009, Disney began to rebrand the character again by putting less emphasis on his pleasant, cheerful side and reintroducing the more mischievous and adventurous sides of his personality, beginning with the video game's epic Mickey. But personally, I've always been a fan of the Mickey from Kingdom Hearts. All right, Groove Builders, we did it. We built Mickey Mouse, and I think he turned out really great. Let's talk about what you can expect if you're looking to build Mickey Mouse in construction. My first point is about painting Mickey here. He definitely looks good with color, so if you're looking to paint him, I would recommend painting before you build him. Now, the choice is yours, whether you wish to go before or after. However, I find if you're gonna be painting him after you've built him, it can be really hard to get the paint in all the little areas you need to. By painting him before you build, you really ensure the most coverage, and at the very end, a really clean model. One more little note, after construction, I went over Mickey Mouse again with my paintbrush just to tidy up all the little seams around him. This really tied them all together and I definitely recommend doing it to yours. My second point is about the wood itself. It's important to keep in mind that you're dealing with a pretty thin sheet of wood. If you put too much force on any given piece, it will break, especially with the smaller teeth going around the head area. Can it be fixed? Well, yeah, it can be fixed with some wood glue, but it may not dry correct, and at the very end, it will leave your model looking a little odd. Take your time with this build, and if the pieces aren't going together the first time, try and see if it's getting hung up anywhere. Sometimes, a little bit of moving back and forth will help you slide these pieces relatively easy together. My third and final point is about the directions. These directions are easy to read, giving you some really nice pictures to follow. Now, I don't know if it's just me, or maybe how these directions are laid out, but I ended up going out of order near the end. Luckily, this didn't impact the model's build in any way, but still, it's something to note. 
Always check to make sure you're on the right step when building groovers. You don't want to miss something important and have to go back and take apart your model. Now with that, let's move on to build time. Mickey took me about 50 minutes to paint and about 30 minutes to build. This was a really nice, quick and easy to follow build. With the ability to paint Mickey, you really could do whatever you want to him. They have some really great recommendations in the book on how to paint Mickey, and I would imagine if you tried some of these other paint jobs, it might take you a little bit longer in the paint department. Whatever you choose, just remember to have fun and take your time with this build, because once he's done, he's done. And lastly, Groove Builders, let's move on to my thoughts. Mickey Mouse here is awesome! <laughs> You're more than welcome, little guy. The guys over at Incredibles did a fantastic job with this kit. Let's start with the book this model comes with. It's really well done. The information in this book is well written and the illustrations are clear and very well colored. Honestly, this is a great little history book on Mickey Mouse and something that I'm going to keep around for reference a little bit later. The model is also really well done. Great choice on the pose for Mickey, and I like how you guys chose a basic Mickey Mouse over a Fantasia or otherwise themed Mickey. Outside of trailing off of the instructions, this was a really nice build, and I can easily recommend this build to any Mickey fan, big or small. All right, Groove Builders, that brings us to the end of our episode. I had a really good time building Mickey Mouse, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building.